and welcome to a Hero Arts video. Today I'm making a card with an acetate pocket inside. You can stamp all sorts of goodies and fill the pocket for family and friends. I'm starting off with an 11 by 4 and a quarter sheet of cardstock that I cut from an 8 and a half by 11 full size piece of cardstock. I'm scoring it 5 and a half inches, which is center, and then to the left of that, 5 inches, and then to the right of that at 6 inches. Now I'm just using my bone folder to crease my folds so they lay nice, flat, and crisp. Now it has an accordion style fold on the inside. So next I'm inking up my Paris set with Versamark ink. And I'm going to use my anti-static bag because I'll be embossing with white embossing powder, which has a tendency to stick to paper. So just go ahead and dab that all around. And now my inked image is just going to lay flat onto my card and stamping with the whole set. So now I'm going to gently press this around and kind of rub in certain areas with my fingers to make sure I have a good crisp image. Once I peel this off you can see the watermark. Now since I'm embossing, I'm going to put a folded sheet of paper underneath and I'm just going to go ahead and pour my powder so that my paper will be my basin to catch my powder. So I'll just tap off the excess. And I've missed a little bit on the bottom, so I'm just going to add a little bit more and tap again. Now I can just use my paper, just fold it up, and put my powder right back into the jar. I always keep a little paintbrush around, uh, just dry paintbrush, and I can get off any excess powders that might have sticked. The powder tends to stick to your fingers. So now I'm just going to heat set my powder, and it gets shiny and crisp white once it's hot. And just continue doing the whole page. If I've missed anything, I can use my white ink essentials pen and just go ahead and kind of fill in any little areas. I keep this handy. Now I'm going to start constructing the inside pocket. So I have a little acetate card here that I've cut. It'll just sit into the inside and it'll be free folding. So I've cut down my acetate card and I have my really nice French script post stamp here and I'm just using regular white stays on ink. If you notice the acetate card, I cut three quarters inches off the top so that it's an open place for when I put my goodies inside. So now I'm just going to go ahead and stamp onto the acetate. I keep my fingers pretty braced around so I don't slip and hold it and pop it up and there's my image. So what I want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. I like to have a little bit of different look inside. So I'm going to get, use the half inch side and just go ahead and punch the corners. That really gives a nice finishing touch. So this will sit right on the inside. And here's one that's already dry that I can go ahead and work with. So I've cut a piece of paper. This is just a one inch piece of paper that I folded in half. And it's the same size. So once it's folded, half an inch on each side. And this is going to work as a sort of thing that's going to seal the ends of the flap or the ends of the pocket. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some adhesive. And I'll lay the acetate in there so it sits flush against the fold. And I'll go ahead and press that down. Next I'm just going to punch some holes so that I can go ahead and start the binding into the card. So I'm just using my crocodile and just punching three holes.
and I'm going to go ahead and line it up to where I want it to make sure everything's lined up inside the card. Then I'll go ahead and use a pencil and just make some little marks so that I can go ahead and punch the holes in the spine. So the card's inverted now and I'm just going to go ahead and punch on my pencil lines so that I can start my binding with some hemp thread. Okay, so I've put a little bit of adhesive onto the uh, little piece of paper so that it sits in place and I'm just threading the hemp string. I've started at the top, gone from the back, now from the back I'm coming back up through the center. Go ahead and pull that tight. And I'll go ahead and feed the hemp string back to go to the back. And by doing the three holes, you get a really nice simple binding that you could also use if you were making a book. And so now I'm going to go back through from the back side. As you can see, the card's inverted on itself. And I'll pull this again. Once I'm done tying my knot, the holes are all filled up with thread, so there's no in and out look to it. It just looks like a nice clean binding. So I'm just tying a simple bow. And from here I'm going to pull this really tight so that my binding will stay. And I'll just readjust my, my loop ends. Pull it again. And I thought I'd do something kind of fun, and I'm just going to go ahead and tie the loops in another knot. And this, this way I know it's really secure. So it's kind of double knotted. Pull those tight. And I'm just going to trim my ends. And I'm going to go ahead and trim the loops off, and it's going to give me a frayed little knot looking thing in the middle. And so here's how it is when it's folded back over. Now I'll just trim my ends. And you can do the trimming at any time. Okay, now I've folded a matching piece of paper in half and I'm just using my circle punch. I'm going to go ahead and seal up the right side of the pocket. And I like to fold the paper first because it's kind of hard to fold a circle in half when they're this small. So just going to go ahead and add my adhesive. And this is just going to seal up the side, just going to hold the pieces of acetate together so nothing slips out. And that's so it's completely open and sealed at the bottom. So now I'm going to add a little binding. And I started with a two inch piece of paper. As you can see, it kind of pulls apart, so this is why we want to make a little binding on the end. Um, I started with a two inch piece of paper, fold it in half so it's a one inch on each side, and it'll just go onto the card like this. So I'll just go ahead and add lots of adhesive at this point. I'm going to go ahead and double up on my adhesive just to make sure it holds in place. This is pretty much the last step to the card, so once I get this done, I'm going to go ahead and just put it into the crease and wrap this around tightly so it holds in place. So now I can trim off my end and embellish as I wish. So I like to add lots of colorful things to the inside and ribbon on the outside. So here's the base card. And I've embellished my card with ribbon and paper flowers and buttons. And added my stamp goodies to the inside. Well, thank you for watching and visit HeroArts.com for more ideas. Mm -hmm.